Orange Walk is on its way to becoming a fair trade certified municipality. As a leader in the global movement to make trade fair, fair trade supports and challenges businesses and governments while connecting farmers and workers with the people who buy their products. Apart from certifying producers, fair trade is now moving into certifying communities in Latin America and the Caribbean. This news captured the attention of a group of Orange Rockenios who have started the process for Orange Walk to become a member of Fair Trade. With the assistance of the Orange Walk Town Council as the community's governing body, the group hopes to finalize the process in one to two years. It's a community effort. We want the whole town and all the residents to become aware. We want to bring awareness to what it means uh, to a small cultivator, a small farmer, or a small producer in the supply chain. If you look at, uh, if you look at the supply chain of cacao or sugar, the cane farmers, or coconut water, or eggs, it's always very, very small. The first producer in the supply chain that does not get a fair trade of the profits. Because you could have you could have sugar or you could have coconut and you could have people to grow coconut and they go sell their coconut. But that doesn't mean they're gonna get a fair a fair uh, share of the profits when that coconut or when that chocolate is sold in Switzerland or in Europe or the sugar is sold there and these big corporations buy this sugar and they they market it and brand it and put it in the supermarkets. Sometimes even the supermarkets or the importer or the middleman make more than a poor farmer. So what it means for Orange Walk Town is that we're going to make them, we're going to sensitize them to, it, to the idea of what it means to give a small farmer or a small cultivator a just return for their work. And while two years might sound like a long time, the work starts now. The plan is to target artisans and the farmers and to promote their product through a number of expos. We're going to have these um, trade shows, these fairs, like once every three months, once every two months at the Central Park. And we're going to be inviting all the small cultivators in Orange Walk, the people who make honey, they grow eggs free range um, in an ethically produced manner, they avoid unnecessary fertilizers, avoid child labor. Hopefully, after a few of these trades, maybe one cultivator finds another cultivator who's growing the same thing and then together they can join and form a, a group which may eventually lead to a cooperative and it's only through cooperatives that uh, we think that the cultivators will have a bigger say they can control it and it's not like somebody to come in and buy your eggs and then they, then they go sell it in a supermarket and then they get far more than the person who grow the eggs or the honey so we're trying, we, hopefully we could revive those industries in Orange Rock. But it's always with a mind to, to assist the first person in the supply chain, the cultivator. For example, we will not feature a small cultivator at the park, at the, at the expo, if we know he to bring coconut water and he to mix it with sugar water. All right, we don't want that. We want to encourage these people to produce their, to, to, to produce their stuff ethically. In a, in a safe manner, in a healthy manner, because we expect that people, as a man, you know what? A coconut water cost ten cents, or instead of dollar, or instead of two dollars, and it's sell for two twenty or two twenty five. Mm -hmm. That they'll pay a little bit more for that because they know it's pure, it's mm -hmm. fresh, and it was stored. They have a good cold chain before it comes out here in a cooler right. to the market. Because they're following fair trade. Yeah, they're following fair trade, even though they're not certified yet. Mm -hmm. But this is the beginning. We're hoping that this is going to give birth to a, to a process whereby farmers that produce similar products will come together and form a cooperative. When they do that, they'll have a stronger voice. And then at that, at that moment, then fair trade is going to come and say, well, we could help you get a market for your products. We could help you make sure you get a fair price. Obviously, that's in the longer run. Then. In the longer run. Right now, we just want the community to be aware that, you know, there's a process that we can take. It doesn't take much, but let's support the local farmers, the local producers, the local artisans. To see the expos taking place, we have to wait for actually fair trade to respond and say, okay, Orange Walk is a fair trade um, Certified. No, we have to do that stuff first. All right. Fair Trade has to see us making the um, organizing the expos, inviting the local producers first before we become certified. 
signing the application on behalf of the town council was Mayor Latrick Shepard, Deputy Mayor Joesi Castillo, and Councillor Allen Hughes.